Can you play Guilty Gear Strive with a keyboard? Yes, you can. The layout you use mostly depends on what you are comfortable with. In this tip, I'll share my keyboard layout which just works perfectly. For up, down, left and right, the most natural and logical choice is to use the up, down, left and right arrow keys. For the attack buttons, if you are a FPS gamer, W, A, S and D seems to be a good choice, as the hand naturally sits in that position very well. I've set A to punch, D to kick, S to slash and W to heavy slash. The dust attack is assigned to Q and the psych bust to E. Now just as the shift key is used for running in first person shooters, I recommend to bind the shift key for dashing in this game. Lastly, the thumb sits nicely in the spacebar which can be used for roman cancelling. The ring, middle and index fingers sit by default on the A, W and D keys and when required the ring finger can move swiftly to Q, middle finger to S and index finger to E. Now for execution of quarter circle motions, we can quickly press down and forward then the attack button while still holding on to the forward key, the special move will come up. For quarter circle back, you press forward, down and back in succession then a follow up key combination afterwards. Similarly, for the Z motion, quickly press forward, down and forward and then the attack key while holding the forward key. Any controller or layout is a weapon you learn to use over time. Once so you master its execution, you learn to do it flawlessly. That's it for today's tip. Be sure to subscribe for more.